What if I tell you that the sea is not blue, the grass is not green, the soil is not brown, and fruits are not colorful? You would of course get confused, but now I will prove that scientifically. Starting from the time we are born, we will deal with a colorful environment and see a colorful world. However, there isn't even one single color in the universe. Colors are formed in our brains. Outside, there are only electromagnetic waves with different amplitudes and frequencies. What reaches our brains is the energy from those waves. We call this light, although this is not the light we know as bright and shiny. It is merely energy. When our brains interpret this energy by measuring the different frequencies of waves, we see colors. That's why, in reality, the sea is not blue, the grass is not green, the soil is not brown, and fruits are not colorful. They appear as they do because of the way we perceive them in our brains. In the book entitled The Amazing Brain, Einstein and Thompson have stated the way colors are formed as follows. Color, as such, doesn't exist in the world. It exists only in the eye and brain of the beholder. Objects reflect many different wavelengths of light, but these light waves themselves have no color. In order to understand why this is so, we must analyze how we see colors. The light from the sun reaches an object and every object reflects the light in waves of different frequencies. This light of varying frequency reaches the eye. The perception of color starts in the cone cells of the retina. In the retina, there are three groups of cone cells, each of which reacts to different frequencies of light. The first group is sensitive to red light, the second is sensitive to blue light, and the third is sensitive to green light. With, different, with the different levels of stimulations of these cone cells, millions of different colors are formed. However, the light reaching the cone cells cannot form colors by itself. The cone cells translate the information they get about colors to electrical signals thanks to their pigments. The nerve cells connected with, with these cells transmit these electrical signals to a spatial area in the brain, the place where we see a world full of color throughout our lives is this spatial area in the brain. This demonstrates that there are no colors or light beyond our brains. There is only energy which moves in the form of electromagnetic waves and particles. Both color and light exist in our brains. We don't actually see a red rose as red simply because it's red. Our brain's interpretation of the energy that reaches our eyes leads us to perceive that the rose is red. Color blindness is another proof that shows us that the colors are formed in our brains. A small injury in the retina can lead to color blindness. A person affected by color blindness is unable to differentiate between red and green colors. It is not very important for an external object to have colors or not because the reason why we see objects colorful isn't their being colorful. This leads us to the conclusion that all of the qualities that we believe belong to the object are not in the outside world, but in our brains. However, since we will never be able to go beyond our perceptions and reach the outside world, we will never be able to prove the existence of materials and colors. As you see, the sea is not blue, the grass is not green, the soil is not brown, and fruits are not colorful. But our brain interprets them so. The eye or cone cell has no intelligence to interpret something. It is evident that this is the soul given us by Allah that is the interpreting all the colors.